in the fourth week of intrauterus development and early subdivision of this encephalic region consists of three important vesicles, encephalic vesicles. They are, are the prosencephalon, mesencephalon, and rhombencephalon. These are the three first encephalic vesicles during the first stage of the development, during the fourth week of intrauterus development, because of the rest of this neural tube is here. In red, the primordium of the spinal cord. The deepest level of segmentation of the neural tube, more faint, is the following. This type of segmentation subdivides certain regions, like this region, the rhombencephalon into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 segments. These segments are named neuromeres. Again, neuromeres. These neuromeres include the biggest one in the cephalic region of the rhombencephalon and Another huge segment or neuromere is here at the end of the rhombencephalon. This will be the future zone of the myelencephalon during the week, during the fifth week of intrauterus development. Of course, this is our neural tube during the fourth week of intrauterus development. This neural tube is composed with two different portions, the encephalic vesicles and the primordium of the spinal cord. And naturally, the encephalic vesicles include the prosencephalon, the mesencephalon, and this rhombencephalon that now we know it is composed of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight neuromeres or segments or metomeres. In the hind brain or rhombencephalon, there are segments. How many? Eight. We know that. These segments are named Neuromeres. Neuromeres. These neuromeres often are called rhombomeres. Rhombomeres. They are visible from early in the fourth to late in the fifth week of intrauterus development. Now, I will try to establish a comparison between this region, the blue one, the mesencephalon, the midbrain, and the prosencephalon, the forebrain. We can observe here some special zones or segments. How many? Six. The midbrain does not appear to be segmented, but there is evidence for a more zero segmentation of the prosencephalon into a less regular series of metameras, metomeres, or neuromeres, or prosomeres. Of course, the word prosomere is written in singular. And here, in this illustration in red color, we can observe one 
two, three, four, five, and six. Neuromeres name prosomeres where in this region are prosencephala. Rhombomeres from one to eight they are involved in the formation of the following nerves, the following cranial nerves. Number one, here, observe, please. Cranial nerve number four. Cranial nerve, nerve number five. Six, seven, eight is not represented in this illustration. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Rhombomeres are arranged as even and add pairs. Even, even, even. Add pairs, add, add, add numbers. And once established, they act like isolated compartments. Cells from adjacent rhombomeres do not intermingle across boundaries between even even and odd segments. However, marked cells from two even and odd rhombomeres, when placed side by side, they intermingle, forming these important cranial nerves. Number five, seven, and nine. Observe again. Focus your attention, please, in cranial nerve, no, nerve number five, the triangular nerve. These axons belong to these very tiny visceral motor neurons, very tiny visceral motor neurons. These somas are located in these adjacent compartments. They form long axons. These purple long axons are forming part of this important nerve, cranial nerve number five. The same situation will take place here in cranial nerve number seven and nine. But cranial nerve, no nerve number 10 is composed with axons that belong to these very tiny visceral motor neurons located inside of this odd and even compartments. Try to focus your attention in this cranial nerve, number 11. Number 11, number 12, please observe here, number 3, and number 4. They are composed with axons that belong to these very tiny visceral motor neurons located in each compartment and these are huge skeletal motor neurons. Their functions produce nerve impulses that will control the movement of this important organ that I'm using at this moment, our tongue.